from a school in a refugee camp to President Barack Obama's prestigious Mandela Washington Fellowship, today's Yali profile is about the journey of Yar Mayen, a South Sudanese scholar and volunteer nurse who is currently visiting the U.S. VOA Zakaria's Abu Bakr talked to Yar in Juba, South Sudan, about her passion for education and her dreams for Africa. There can even be so many good things about a refugee camp. We live in a small hut with a roofing iron sheet, so it get hot inside. And um, we used to eat once a day. There's not enough food. The schools are not very good, so you really have to struggle on your own to study. I went to school and I studied so hard because I knew if I study hard, then I'll get out of Kakuma, I'll get a scholarship and leave Kakuma. But I went to Kakuma on my own. My parents, had, my parents and family had remained back. So I went to Kakuma because I wanted to go to school. So I left my whole family there and walked two weeks to Kakuma. My name is Yar Mayen. I'm a South Sudanese. I work at the University of Juba as a lecturer. I also work as a deputy director in the office of the vice chancellor. Um, twice a week or three times a week, I go to MRDC clinic. It's a diplomatic clinic in Juba that does humanitarian operation for South Sudanese. So once or twice a week, I would go there to help with the operation as a surgical nurse. My days are very tight on the time I'm doing, we are having operation. Because if I finish early from the operation, I have to run back to uni. Since war began, basically most of the things that are happening in Juba, either private or public, is basically stopped. So you can literally see there are no resources. There could be good doctors, but they can't do everything they can. Most people who go there are those who have no money to go to the private clinic. So that's the best place to pick because it's humanitarian. We need the forest, the one they need most, the one that have no other options. Everything you do, you don't do it fully because one or two things are missing. Uh, for example, a uni teaching aids, there's no PowerPoint, sometimes no electricity, sometimes there's no textbook, good textbook for students to read. There's no internet. People are so discouraged here. Things, things have been going down. Life is getting harder. We have a lot of ideas. We don't know what to do with them. So I'm hoping after going to the US and going through the training and sharing my experiences with the African, other African, maybe I'll come back with more motivation and more ways of dealing with things here. There's a lot that comes with education. You know, understanding of the future, working hard, understanding the unity. For example, at uni, we really try to bring students together. We try to give them a common ground that we all South Sudanese and we shouldn't go on tribal line. That cannot come easily if somebody is not open-minded. And there's something about education that makes you look beyond your boundaries. So it's, it's very important for us 